Hi everyone! Our lesson for today is all about Venn Diagram. Venn Diagram is the principal way of showing sets diagrammatically. Venn Diagram looks like this. So as you can see, we have two circles. Circle A and Circle B. And these circles represent two different sets. And as you may notice, we have a rectangle here and re the rectangle represents the universal set or the totality of all the elements let's try answering the given problem as the academic year opens the administration conducted an interview with 150 freshman students 85 were registered for math class 70 were registered for English class, and 50 were registered for both math and English class. Now, we are asked how many signed up for math class only? How many signed up for English class only? How many signed up for math or English? And how many signed up for neither math nor English? Let's try to answer the first question. How many signed up for math class only? Some of us might say that the answer is 85. But as you can see, we have a given 50 were registered for both math and English. And we are asked how many signed up for math only. So how are we to know this? Okay, it is by the use of the Venn diagram. Okay. Now, we can diagrammatically represent the problem as this one. The rectangle represents the universal set, and since we have two classes, so that's why we also have two circles here. This circle is for math class, and the other circle is for the English class. As you can see, the two circles overlap, wherein we can write their, their intersection, which is, according to the given, is 50. So, 50 registered for both math and English. And to answer the first question, according to the given, 85 registered for math class. Then, we already have here the intersection, which is 50. Now, what we're going to do is to subtract 50 from 85 so that we'll know how many registered for math only. So, we'll have 85 minus 50 which is equal to 35. So, we'll have 35 here who signed up for math only. So, the same thing goes in the English class. So, it is said that there are 70 who registered for English class. So, we'll just subtract 50 from 70. We'll have 20. Okay, so there, meaning there are 20 who registered for English only. So, getting the total of this, we'll get 105. So, we have 35 plus 50 plus 20. We'll get 105. And back to the problem, there are 150 interviewed college uh, freshmen. So, merong kulang. So, di ba, total nito is 105 lang. So, merong kulang. So, subtract natin yon. So, 150 minus 105, okay, it is equal to 45. So, we'll put 45 here to indicate that there are 45 students who did not register in either math or English class. Now, we can answer the other questions easily by just simply looking at the Venn diagram. Okay, to answer the first question, how many signed up for math class only? So, according to, to the Venn diagram, it's 35. Okay, so, there are only 35 students who signed up for math class only. Next question. How many signed up for English class only? Let's look at the Venn diagram. Okay, the answer is 20. Okay, for the third question, how many signed up for math or English? So, since we have here uh, the conjunction or, 
So, meaning to say, we will use the union of sex. So, to find the union of uh, the two classes, math and English, so we're going to include the, um, the students who registered for math only and English only as well as their intersection. So, earlier we have already totaled this which is equal to 105. So, tatandaan nyo lang na kapag or, it is union of set. So, we combine. Kapag or, union, combine. Okay, for the last question, how many signed up for neither math nor English? So, ibig sabihin, um, yung hindi nag-register since ang sabi dito ay neither. So, meaning to say, so tingin tayo, so hindi wala tayong pakialam sa number na nasa loob ng circle but we're after with the number outside the universal set so how many students did not sign up so there are okay 45 students who did not sign up for uh, math or english and now we have already answered the questions and that's it for the venn diagram we're going to present um, some more examples and you're going to try answering it. Okay, so please try answering this uh, problem. A pet store keeps track of the purchases of customers over a four-hour period. The store manager classifies purchases as containing a dog product, a cat product, a fish product, or product for a different kind of pet. She found a purchase of 83 dog product, 101 cat product, 22 fish product, 31 dog and cat product, 8 dog and fish product, 10 cat and fish product, 6 dog, cat and fish product, and 34 purchased a product for a pet other than a dog, cat, or fish. Now, we are asked, how many purchases were for a dog product only? How many purchases were for a cat product only? How many purchases were for a dog or a fish product? And how many purchases were there in total? Please check the description box for the answers of the given problem. Thank you for listening and we hope that you learned.